What's good, YouTube? Chaos Reality here with a uh, deck profile on Insectors. I'll probably be posting these deck profiles of all these decks and that Chaos Dragon right here, not Dark Worlds because I'm not playing Dark Worlds. <laughs> Maybe this Frog deck also. It's Oblish deck. And yeah, guys, because I have no idea what to run at regionals this Saturday. I have so many decks to choose from, I don't even know what. So yeah guys, this will probably be the second deck list up. Um, it is, as you can see, it is in Zectors, which is still a good deck. With one Dragonfly and one Hornet still. Got the search capabilities of Centipede. And yeah guys, let's get onto the deck. So pretty much, um, one Hornet. Still a good card, still Imba. As people say on League. <laughs> it's just a good card. Pops cards. Dragonfly is still good. It's kind of hard to get rid of Dragonfly in my build. They're on Triple Centipede, the Stratos of the deck. I think if they left Dragonfly at 3 and they hit him to 1, I think the deck would be horrible. Because, yeah. Three centipedes, like what the? It, what, it's what makes the deck go round. And then I run two ladybugs. It's a decent card. <laughs> Change the levels of everything. I tech in one earwig. I was too lazy to find a third ladybug, because I was gonna test out Billy Breaks build, but so I had an earwig laying around. So I was like, you know what? Earwig's a good card. It at pretty much what this does is unlike ladybug and hornet like he has the effect when he's detached which is boost an injector by a thousand points to the, for the end phase so he's really good because of him i was able to run over a first a quasar and then the um shooting star that he brought out with quasar so it was pretty good then one gigamantis pretty much still a good card Makes any Insector you have a 24 beater. Really good. And then I run two Tomatoes. I really like these secret. <laughs> I pulled both of these from the Legendary Collection. Which is really nice. I like it. But yeah, Tomatoes are just good. Because everyone's attacking and stuff. It's like so aggressive. One Sangen because Search is almost everything in the deck. One Dark Arms because it is easy to manipulate the Grave. And yeah, Dark Arms just a good card. Double Trooper, yes. I do run Troopers. I am not neck decking Billy Break, as you can see. I mean, yes, this, like, the build is somewhat the same. Eh, but yeah. I run some different cards. Run two Veilers. Pretty much good against the wind up matchup. Ooh. And mirror match also. Two Thunder Kings. This first turn is amazing. This card's so good, this format is ridiculous. It's just good. Stops many decks. And then last monster, one Spirit Reaper. I was thinking of running a BLS um, instead of Spirit Reaper. But early game BLS is kind of bad because I only run... Two Thunder Kings and two Veilers, and early game, I don't usually have a light target in Grave. And Spirit Reaper is just a good card in general, like, just stall the crap out of your opponent. It's really good. Onto the spells. Double duality, because you need the you need it for consistency. I run double sword. If you guys have an ulti sword, then I want it. Um, reborn. Staple. Dark hole, staple. Heavy. Staple. Ooh, it's Starfoil. Staple, staple, staple. Yep. And then Foolish to send your Hornets to the grave. And then my tech card that's like one of my favorite tech cards ever, Seal of Oricalcos. This card is really good. So pretty much what it does is, um, the first, the bad effects. One, destroys all your special summon monsters on the field when you activate it. So on activation. Two, you can't special summon from your extra deck. 
which isn't that bad. And three, you can only activate one of these per duel. The benefits one, all your monsters gain 500, so that means a 1500 dragonfly, a 2100 centipede. Two, they could only attack your um your highest attacking monster so let's say you had a centipede with a gigamantis so he'd be at 29 with a zecaliber so he'd be at 37 and he had a dragonfly at 15 they can't hit that they can't touch that dragonfly until they get rid of that 37 centipede which is really amazing and third plus about it is that um, every turn they'll have to pop this card twice to really destroy it so you have to MST it twice or MST heavy to get rid of it so yeah this card's amazing under the traps not much got three call of the haunted one mirror force and there are supposed to be two warnings I don't know where oh no the sleeves are I don't know the two warnings are in my Atlanteans <laughs> The warning and the judgment. Um, I cannot. Oh, nope. Yeah, I cannot find the where I put them. But yeah, guys, a warning. Oh no. Why am I so bad? A warning and a judgment. Yeah, guys, two warnings and a judgment. That's pretty much trap lineup. That's right now. The deck seems pretty solid. I like it a lot. Kind of like it better than my Dino Rabbits because. Yeah, Dino Rabbits are alright. I thought they would be like busted and OP, but they're alright after I played it at Tourney. But yeah, this deck, I haven't tried it with this. Oh no, what the heck? I have not tried this deck with the Seal of Orichalcos yet, and I can't wait to try it. I'll probably bring it to school tomorrow, test it out. And yeah, pretty much. I mean, extra deck. I mean, like, you run generic stuff. No, no, this is my... Yeah, this is my um, Dino Rabbit's extra deck, but I'll just take out the cards that you can run. Yes, 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 yes. You could run that, yes. No, well, yes, you can run this, but it's kind of a bad card. <laughs> Don't ask me why I have it in my extra deck. Yes, yes, yes. If you have Starlight, yes, because you side deck Cyber Dragons. And then just random stuff, like I have a huge stack of extra deck stuff in here. Um, pretty much like yes, 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 possibly. Yes, this card is good. This card is good also. No, not formula. Maybe if you want to run it. No, you cannot. Yeah, just generic stuff. Like, yeah, just generic stuff. And pretty much that's the deck profile. If I were to make changes, um, well, I haven't really tested it out enough, so I wouldn't know what changes to make. And if you guys have any suggestions, like, feel free to comment below. Any criticism you guys could give me, go for it. Don't forget to thumbs up the video, guys. Let me know that you guys are liking the deck profiles. And don't forget to sub to me, Chaos Reality, signing out.